So I finally made it to the over there. And I've been kind of playing around a little bit. I'm seeing the various things I can hunt. And I've been hunting rhinos and tigers and cockatrice. Um, not, there are a lot of green mobs in this area, but there's enough blues and actually some, uh, I found some even cons and a yellow con too, so pretty good bit of stuff to fight thus far. Kind of one of the disadvantages I've had though is, um, not a whole lot of actual animals here. So apparently this cockatrice is not an animal. It's kind of like an animal, but whatever. I'm sure the devs had a valid reason. And we go. Let the rhino get in there and start tearing it up. This is my first time actually trying to charm a rhino. I've had a lot of bad luck with the seemingly higher level ones. So, I've been kind of avoiding them, but I'm not seeing a lot of saber-toothed tigers. There's a lot of green tigresses, but not a lot of the blue tigers to charm. So, I decided to screw it. I'm going to try this rhino out. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so far, though, I'm not going to call it abundant, per se, but there's definitely some... Uh, Pretty good bit of mobs here so far. Shit. Please cast. Do your thing. Thank you. Kill that cockatrice. Alright. What sucks is I basically need a way to break the charm now. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Shit, he killed it. Well, shit. Yeah, I've had a few issues uh, not being able to fear and whatnot. And these rhinos are fast as shit, by the way. Even with snare, they catch you. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I've been kind of hesitant to use a rhino for a pet. Because I could see the scenario in which it goes bad. Quickly. Alright, let's give him ye old scimitar. Yeah, he's like running in place. Jerk waffle. Not good. So the rhino horns weigh a ton. But, uh, I'm over here by the mud hole. If you're looking at the map, let me tell you. So it's uh, right around number five. Map, and I can't find my cockatrice body. Son of a bitch. Maybe they have anything on. It's all good. I'm sure, it's right up here somewhere. So, anywho, um, kind of the advantage you have over in this region. And actually, I kind of wish I'd have come here about like level 20. Not gonna lie. I don't know where the body of that thing went. I'm assuming maybe it didn't drop anything, though they usually get coin off of them at least. I did also have to run a really long way. So over here, you have a Kunark Rhino that spawns in front of this vendor. Uh, but you can sell things to that vendor. So that is kind of a nice little touch. Unfortunately, it looks like I need to kill a damn Rhino in order to use the vendor. That's cool. We'll pop on Strength of Earth. And then we'll uh, work on killing that Rhino. I might just Root Rod him. Just uh, make my life a tiny bit easier. Give me the strength I need to carry my Rhino Horn. Uh, rhino Horns sell for about a plat, so not terrible. Um, but not uh, nearly as nice as the Mammoth Tusk. Also picked up a saber tooth hide, which I think allegedly sells for about 10 plat. So it looks like a pretty decent money making area. It's not quite as um, easy as, you know, get the mammoth 
corn, go sell it and you're done. Like I may have to spend some time at EC selling these, or alternately if I farm enough of them, eventually at some point if I do wood elf tailoring, I can make myself some sweet low end wisdom gear, possibly. But uh, anyways, just wanted to kind of introduce the new hunting spot. And we're going to be hunting here for probably the rest of level 24 at least through LFG on just in case somebody wants to uh, group with me and miss more or something cool. I'm not opposed to grouping at this point because my hunting spots are um, admittedly not as good as I would like right now, not as lucrative. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and meditate up, kill that rhino off, and sell this damn horn in just a moment. And we have returned to kill this rhino. Alternately, I believe you can harm me the rhino. Wow, that just happened, didn't it? Huh. <laughs> I'm going to hide in shame. <laughs> Yeah. I legit totally just snared myself instead of the rhino. Meditate and hope nothing kills me. So pay attention to what you have targeted, folks. So I was trying not to hit her for obvious reasons. Alright, Kunar Rhino. We're done. Need you to Keep my sweet new pet. Let's find you something to kill. Just starting at conscript. I'm gonna do that. That sounds fun. Straight ahead. I haven't killed a Sarnak in a long time. Seems legit. Go get him. While he's off fighting with that dude, we shall sell our horn. So, this is not a safe place to sit, just for the record. But, uh, it's all good. Conscript is doing rather well. It might be a little bit higher level. So let's do a quick little sweep around, make sure nothing's coming. And I'm fully expecting to have a charm break any minute now as well. So there's always that possibility. Yay, charm breaks. Okay. That is not doing well, holy crap. So we're going to root the conscript, hopefully. And then we are going to re-snare the rhino. So it is not going to stop horning me in the butthole. Yeah, that's a word, right? Yeah, I don't like the rhinos, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to give a yield scimitar for that last little bit of health. Rhino dead. There. And then we're going to creeping crud. Decent little four gold off that guy. Not bad. I found my conscript here. We're just going to root rot you. Unfortunately, I only have one dot. Yeah, I just couldn't figure. We'll get a snare on him. Oh, my cat is dying. What is wrong with you, cat? Okay, I think he's going to be okay. I think he just has a hairball. Well, he sounds mad. That is his construct. So we're going to go ahead and throw a nuke in there. And then he will eventually take stock of my dot. Shit. Just what I needed. 
a green cockatrice I don't want to kill. <sighs> Joy. Yeah, one of the many disadvantages of this area. It is not really, um, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it so far. Uh, between the rhinos being super resistant and having like redonkulous run speed, I could see this being a um, very risky. Where the hell did the old jackass go? I like snare him and not remember it. No, I did not snare him. Okay. We were getting root rotted and say, you little bastard. Probably shouldn't have fucked with him. Oh well. Teach you, Stone Peep Cockatrice. But I am getting pretty decent experience here. I cannot complain. I just, um, I'm having a little bit of. Wouldn't be so bad if I could find more tigers, honestly. Um, they tend to be better targets, in my opinion, than the rhinos. The rhinos just run too fast, resist too much, and all that good nonsense. But we're going to finish off our little friend. And uh, meditate up and then go out and find some more stuff to kill over here in the over there. Well, that went well. Uh, the Kunar Rhino I had to charm. Resisted snare almost immediately broke a charm. I'm trying out a barbed succulent for a target. Yeah. But yeah, I've got a um, bard in the area that is like hiding everything blue to me so I'm unfortunately gonna not be able to find a lot of tigers because he's hanging out right where they spawn unfortunately and that barb succulent is already dead all right not good not good at all this is where things get bad Jeez, these Kunark Rhinos are bullshit. Okay. Got him ensnared. Jeez. Alright, so I need to charm him. Let him kill the other Rhino. And he resisted. Shit. We're gonna zone this. This is just ridiculous, these damn things. Oh my god. Hit like a Mack truck, outrun me, <laughs> resist every single spell it feels like. Ugh, it's tired of it. Not cool, Kunark Rhino, not cool. So we're gonna run down here, zone this. I hate it because I had that succulent almost dead, but literally if I stop, I'm probably gonna get low life. Uh, aggro and shit, so just gonna not stop on the way out of here. <laughs> so we'll be back, healed up, and uh, I'm probably about to a point of changing hunting spots again because this one is not really working out for me either. Uh, I miss East Karana, never thought I would say that. Like, sure, there were some ads, but for the most part, everything was kind of peaceful, didn't have a lot of resist or. Any of the other nonsense I've had to deal with here. And these rhinos just run too damn fast for me. Come on, War Slicks Wood. Awesome. So, with that being said, I shall return momentarily. Not dead. Hopefully. After my last few rounds of misfortune with rhinos, I've decided I'm just going to kind of root rot and nuke um, anything blue that I find. Also, I found out that button doesn't do anything anymore. So, I feel like a noob for using it this whole time. In fact, you don't even need the book. You can just sit and do your thing. So, anywho... Um, I decided what I'm going to do also is try to pull a couple of these things at once. 
That way I've got multiple mobs dying. As long as I don't get too many, I should be okay. But yeah, see, these are nice and slow. And all that good stuff, too. And I'm sure the second I go out here, I'm going to find, like... I'm actually going to go look for the other barb second. Okay. It's totally mine. Okay. Yeah, so that's my issue, is that dude is, like, basically pulling everything here, unfortunately. I'm going to sit, kill this, move south a little bit. And eventually I'll stop hitting that meditate button, now that I realize it does nothing. My dot does last a while too. Doesn't notice it wore off. Not good at root rotting, folks. Will not lie. It's kind of my first time to actually try it. I remember I did try it once when I was uh, super low level. But I didn't really have enough dots to do any damage. Like, I've got one little fire dot. This flame lick. That, you know, level one dot. I would feel better if I had two dots, for sure. But the cool thing is, I'm going to get it to about 40%, and then I'm just going to start blowing it up, basically. And if I get, like, two or three going at once... It'll be a pretty decent experience. Not nearly as good as charm kiting, in my opinion. But, you know, you're running out of animals to charm. And your only targets are Kunark rhinos that run at, you know, warp speed. Yeah. This could actually be a better option. Okay. Hello, random necromancer. And scimitar. Ram. Bam. Thank you, my sappy little friend. So we're going to go ahead and um, we'll take that Sardak Conscript as our next victim, I do believe. Go ahead and get him snared. Maybe. Or not. Snare. Creeping crud and a grasping root, and then we're just gonna sit up here and chill. So it takes you about a bubble of mana to get one set up. Um, if I go after the stone glue cockatrice, let's head into the left. I should be able to safely take both of them. So I'm gonna let this guy sit for a minute. Get him down to about 80 or so percent. Yeah. Oh, what fun. See, to me, this is kind of a little bit boring. And honestly, if I was going to do this, I'd much rather be doing it on a shaman. They kind of come out ahead on the buff departments. Yeah, he's got that guy. Never mind. Uh, a little Necro friend, that's cool. Ah, Roots, get out of here. Throw another Root in. And Creeping Crud. I don't know if he snared that. Hmm. Anything else I could get? A Barb Succulent. Head into the right. I'm going to go ahead and snare just to be safe. And these are not resisting me like at all, nor are the succulents, so I feel like they're pretty safe targets if I can get them. Yeah, there we go. Come here, friend. Or not. I don't want to leave my damn thing too far off. 
That's that dude's shit. Get you rebooted. Alright, so. So far, attempting to find multiple mobs has not gone well. It's just resulted in me um, technically getting less experience, I do believe. So the Creeping Crowd spell, 100 mana, versus this. I'm going to do some research. Meditate. Yeah. As far as experience per hour goes, I definitely want to have two targets going at once, I feel like. Yeah, my poor friend has died. And now this dude is low enough, I should be able to nuke him and kill him. Boop. And there we go. I'll let him get out of that rock, hopefully. Or not. I don't think I'm going to be able to loot a little guy. Does not look hopeful. Yeah. Well, shit. I'm sure he had like 500 platinum on. That would in fact be my luck. So I'm going to met up. I've tried that. It looks like it'll work decently well. So we're going to met up. And I'm going to try to get two or three targets going at once and do this a little bit. Um, do a little bit of justice, show off a bit, you know, and uh, we shall return momentarily. Alright, so I went a little bit closer to the beach this time, and I have located um, two blue Pactrice. So all I've got to do is go get the other one real quick here. Come on, little guy. Then we're going to go chill on the beach. This guy's slowly rot to death. Got him a little bit closer, friend. Oh no, you die. So we gotta watch out. We do have Sarnax wandering up. It's a stone peep cockatrice I don't want to deal with. Did I like instantly wear off or something? Or did I target the bomb? That's okay. Weird. I guess I've lagged because it looked like he was coming right for me. So I'm already noticing the problem. That Sarnak Flunky is definitely one of them. So I am running out of mana very quickly here. And these dudes are not dying. Very quickly. And this may be my first problem. I don't know that I have enough mana to... Yes, I do. I can root you. I'm going to run way the hell over here. And meditate up. I'm legit out of mana. And I believe I actually started with a lot of mana. That's encouraging. A little cockatrice convention. So I'm going to have two of them incoming pretty soon, but I need to get enough mana to get another creeping crud on there. <sighs> so it looks like this may not be a great idea to pull two at once, because by the time I spread my creeping crud to both of them, I am basically out of mana. It's all good though. I get a root on this end. We've got insufficient mana. 
Not surprised on that. Yeah, I am in a bit of a pickle here. These things are very healthy. But I am basically keeping enough mana to root them. And that's it. Shit. The worst part is I almost have them both pretty close to death. So what I may try to do... Um, hmm. Might try to get enough mana to nuke one. <sighs> Joy. This is not what I wanted to happen. And here comes one to run in. Where you at? Bastard. So I got a root on you. Yeah, there's definitely some weird server lag going on here. Joy. Okay. I like legit don't know where the other one even ended up at. So, who knows. Enough to dizzy wind him. Ooh. Well, shit, this is one disadvantage of not having any gear, because my mana pool is complete shit, to top it all off. Ow, you little bastard. Pit me. Okay, so we got enough. I think we can turn around and nuke him. Nope. Son of a bitch. And one of them just straight vanished. I don't actually know where he's at. Let's try to get another med tick or two in. Ow, little asshole. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm going to have to melee you for a second, I'm afraid. Much as I don't want to. I don't know where the shit the other one is, but... Yeah. I'm imagining he's going to come running up soon. Cool. I'll met up and kill your ass with a nuke. In a second. I assume the other one disappeared on me? I don't know. But he has not come to bite me yet, so... Yeah, it definitely did not go well pulling the second one at the same time. It's all a mistake. And once again, I think if I had like 50 more wisdom, I wouldn't have had a problem. Oh no, you don't, bastard. Don't steal my thing. Yeah, that could also be where my other one ended up right there. So I don't know where the hell it's at, but I'm going to go ahead and meditate up. Um, it's either going to show up and bite me, or <laughs> somebody may have killed it and stolen it off of me when I was running away, like, frantically. It was fine, that actually kind of did me a favor. So we shall return shortly. I have returned, I got a Sarnak Conscript here. Um... I didn't rooted. And yeah, I wasn't really paying attention when I cast Creeping Crud. It's taken a pretty good chunk of my mana, so 
definitely going to be a little bit more careful with that. Um, when I had two mobs to juggle between keeping snare and root on everything, I just uh, didn't quite have enough mana to actually kill them. So, I just don't think I'm going to be geared enough to root rot multiple targets. Also of note, root rotting is really not going to be ideal for me for a little bit longer too. Um, level 29, I get a sweet fire dot that I can stack with creeping prod. So this is really not my um, optimal way to level here at this point. That's okay though. The important thing is the experience bar is slowly moving up. I want to at least get level 25 tonight, you know, just because. And then um, we'll kind of move on. Find some more um, animals that I can charm. Just got to find the sweet zone. I might try Lake of Omen out. Maybe they'll have something there. Oh, hell no. Stop, sir. Yeah, I hear that shit. Bad conscript. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. But effectively, with this method, uh, my mana stays about the same. Make sure my creeping crow has it again. Soon. There it goes. Awesome. But yeah, I'm slowly losing mana. Um, if I had like a breeze or something, I could probably take another target. But yeah, I don't have one. Fresh out. Asshole. There he is. Cool. He's actually pretty low, so it's about time to nuke him, kill him, and meditate up for the next target. Goodbye, friend. Bam. So we have loot. Four gold. I'll take it. And uh, yeah, it's time to meditate up and then we'll pull us another target and kill him. Alright, got us a sweet succulent kill. I like these a lot because they move slow as shit. And when they're snare, they barely even move. So they feel like good targets for root riding. And we got them dotted up. We're gonna hang out. I did totally uh, hook the Necromancer up beside me with Spirit of Wolf because, uh, He's like doing some uh, brave pulls over there. <laughs> like he's running way the hell out there, at trying to land a snare on stuff, and trying to run it all the way back up this hill. And I saw him get his ass tore up a couple of times, honestly. It looked like he had a cockatrice or two. Getting a little closer for comfort, it looks like that one may have resisted a snare. So, you know, I thought I'd help him out a little bit. <clears throat> Hell no. Stay put, bad sucking light. <clears throat> Get up this tree uh, hill a little bit more. But yeah, um, it's actually kind of peaceful out here. Not gonna lie. I do, in fact, enjoy it. I'm not going to bother re-snaring him. I'm not horribly worried about it at this point. I've got my sweet gamer reflexes ready here. About to root this bastard again. Yeah. Yo, know, that's just weird. Is he, like, going to disappear on me, too? Nope. Okay, cool. Yeah, that one cockatrice did that and just vanished. 
So I don't know. But apparently I did not have him picked as target. Who knew? All right, rot, 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 please. One more creeping crud. I suspect you're about to break your root, because why wouldn't you? It's my luck. And he's rooted again. That is one thing that does amaze me about this server is the number of folks on it. Um, you know, the sheer... I don't feel like the original vanilla servers had over 500 to 1,000 players pretty much ever. Um, so, definitely feel like P99 Green and Blue are significantly more populated. And I'm still seeing, you know, people my level. I threw looking for group on, I haven't seen a single tell. Not that I'm offended or whatever. I mean I didn't uh, expect a tell <laughs> at this point. Because like uh, most of the people I'm seeing are raiding or high level or whatever. What is that? Pretty sweet, a nice little chunk of change there. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to play a solo class, too, is I knew it was going to be rough finding groups. That's one of the things I'm concerned with on Caprica. I have the ability to charm kind of wherever I want with her, but there is a lot of risk involved with charming on an enchanter, I feel like. A little bit more so than what I've got here. Um, you know, the druid snaring everything, it's, you know, even with an add or two, it's fairly easy to keep things under control. Uh, Caprica, though, I don't think that would be viable for her. Um, one, I don't have gear, so I'm not going to have a lot of hit points. And number two, the gear also means not a lot of charisma, so I'm going to have charms breaking more frequently. And honestly, I wouldn't even attempt it until I had Breeze at level 16. So I'm going to try to get into like a, a North Row or a West Commons Derv group with her tomorrow. And see if I can do that. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to stick to grouping on her for a while. <clears throat> I did, however... I am considering making a Necromancer. And doing a journey to 60 on the Necromancer instead of Caprica. But that's only going to be if I get to this, you know, 16 to 20 mark and just cannot find groups. And all that good stuff. So, anywho, going to pause, finish meditating, and then go grab another something to murder. And how convenient, I've got a barbed succulent just chilling right beside me. Waiting on me to start murdering the shit out of it. As it immediately breaks root, that's all. And get our creeping crud on there. Beautiful. But, uh, yeah, I have definitely been enjoying my time back in P99. It's good to. You know, I have grouped in the zone, but I've never really soloed in it, so it's good to experience that. I do see some good places in Warsuk's Wood to do this, but... Well, let me rephrase that. I need to explore the zone a little bit before I'm going to feel comfortable with that. Um, there's a lot of trees obscuring vision and giants everywhere. A lot of blue stuff. Some spellcasters I don't want to try to root rock. I'm going to totally get smacked by this tree because I'm eating chocolate. Oops. Totally just got uh, chocolate all over my mouse. <laughs> okay.
But yeah, kind of my big goal at this point, I kind of talked about this before, is to actually get to level 29 so I can start teleporting around and all that good stuff. Um, I don't think this is going to be a long-term zone for me. I'm just kind of stopping over here at this point. Um, I will gonna try tomorrow after I uh, work on Caprica some. I will be trying to do some things here, but ultimately, it does look like, oh my god, you little bastard. He's doing that shit, that's, hmm. Don't know how I feel about all that. So this one definitely had less hit points. I'm just gonna nuke him. Yeah. When that root wears off, kill him. Eh, no. And I finally fixed my uh, duck button. Yeah, the stop cast button just does nothing, so I just put duck in there and was like, whatever, that'll do. Hmm. Nine damage, wow. And my audio's foobard again. Hmm. I may need to get some new uh, sound fonts, as they like to call them. It's like I've noticed when that happens, I have to literally camp desktop to get it to stop. Or it'll just randomly stop on its own. Come on, scimitar! Yeah. I'm kind of excited one of my players in my D&D group has decided they want to roll a druid. With a scimitar. So I'm pretty excited about that. For no real reason at all. Um... That being said, I'm going to go ahead and try to get my last bubble before I go to bed. But I'm right about at the time limit. I usually try to keep these episodes. Keep an eye out. I'm going to be doing a 1 to 10 compilation for Caprica. It's going to be about a 20 to 30 minute video that just goes over the high level how the journeys went so far. That's just kind of, um, those videos tend to do better on views. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. I'm kind of doing best of both. You're going to have the long plays and stuff like that for folks that want to see the whole process and hear me um, just kind of chilling and talking about random stuff. And the, you know, more digestible format for the masses is also going to be available too with the witty commentary, memes, etc. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to start working on it. And it should drop sometime in July or June of 2022, depending on how quickly I edit. But um, as always, appreciate all the love and support. Um, it's been just so wonderful to see all the people uh, watching, at least. I don't get a lot of comments or likes, but I do get a lot of people watching. For um, According to the analytics, some people are actually watching the whole episode, so that's really cool. Makes me super happy, glad to see that. It helps encourage me to keep putting this stuff out there. Um, but yes, as always, huge favor, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I look forward to hearing from everybody as well, so drop me a comment if you don't mind. And as always, have a great rest of your day.